I have a severe hearing loss. I was born with it. It was a, a struggle. I went to a special school. I took speech there. I was taught sign language to communicate. I did good academically, but I kind of suffered socially. I couldn't interact with the kids because they were so like, some of them were like mean. They didn't understand. Yeah. I wore hearing aids up, up until college. And then I just kind of, it, it just, it didn't work for me anymore. Dana is a bright young woman who has a family and children. She was reaching out for whatever she could get to, to enjoy her life more. Hey Dana, how are you? She has uh, poor hearing in both ears. She used hearing aids for many years and when she was younger and in recent years kind of gave up on them. She wasn't using her hearing aids anymore. And when we did a hearing test on her, we saw that she had severe high frequency hearing loss, uh, but pretty good low tone hearing loss. So she was one of those persons that's caught in between um, getting benefit from a hearing aid and needing a cochlear implant. The next uh, generation of cochlear implants now is, is a hybrid implant and it's using electrical stimulation as in the previous uh, version of the cochlear implant, but it also incorporates auditory stimulation, so it's a hearing aid. Years ago, we could only implant cochlear implant patients who had profound hearing loss. And today, with the hybrid, you can even have some normal hearing in the low frequencies, sloping all the way down to a profound hearing loss in the high frequencies. So our candidacy for hybrid implants has grown exponentially. It's an outpatient surgical procedure. It takes about an hour and a half to two hours to actually do the surgery. And the audiologist will see these patients back several times post-operatively. That looks great. I think it's made a tremendous difference for her, even we're, though we're still in the very beginning stages of her implant, she's made some terrific gains. Um, on the audiogram, her hearing's near normal for all of the frequencies now, and now the brain just has to start using that sound and working through the sound to start making sense of what's going on. I'm so thankful that I got this now because it's not just loud, loudness. I could actually hear and figure out what people are saying. I have a two-year-old that when he was a baby, I had a flashing light that would signal to me that the baby was crying. But now, now I can hear him when he's crying from upstairs and I'm downstairs. So that's, that's an awesome feeling because now I can hear my kids. We're just here to help patients is what we're here to do. And Dana was just the right type of patient at the right time. This has just come on the market. We have an amazing cochlear implant team. Our doctors are 100% invested in our patients. Um, and I feel that we work together wonderfully. I'm very happy that I came to Loyola to get this done because I was able to better my life. I'm able to hear my kids better and I'm able to enjoy life a little bit better with hearing and not be so in the dark. <laughs>